Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to The Colour Cave where we like to play with art stuff. I have changed the camera angle so that you can see Puppy running about if she comes in and out because I know a lot of you quite like that. This is the unboxing of the October Scrawler box and um, I wanted to tell you a little bit of a story about this. First of all, my box arrived about four days behind everybody else in the UK because I live in a rural area and the first thing that happened was one of my subscribers asked me if she could have the prompt because she had received her box and there was no prompt in it. So I explained to her that I didn't have my box and I couldn't help her. Anyway, she managed to email Scholar Box and they got back to her. So I said to her, don't tell me what's in the box because I tried to keep away from things like that so that my reactions are genuine when I do actually open them. So I am going to make a prediction though because I saw something by accident on Twitter and it was someone had tweeted about their scrawler box and a reply came from Derwent and on top of that someone has asked me about Derwent light fast pencils. Patrick, yeah I'm naming and shaming. <laughs> and when I shake this box it suspiciously sounds like there might be some pencils in there. And also the last thing that's made me think this is I noticed that Claire Edie from Colour with Claire, go and check out her YouTube channel if you haven't seen her, she's awesome, she does loads of adult colouring stuff. Anyway, I'll leave a link for that in the description by the way. She has also done a scroller box unboxing video, so I'm hedging my bets here that there's going to be pencils in here. So let's get going and see if I am right. Also, I am absolutely knackered. I am frazzled beyond repair and my nerves are frayed to say the least. So obviously the coping mechanism is an alcoholic drink at four o'clock in the afternoon. Cheers everybody. Yeah okay so I'm really hoping that I'm going to be right so that I can be all smug and well everybody loves a smug alcoholic don't they? <laughs> anyway I'm just going to cut the tape and see if I can get into this. I'm really excited because it might be pencils. As most of you know by now, I am a pencil person and we have not had pencils from Scrollerbox for a while. So I am optimistic. Come on. <laughs> okay, as per usual, let's go through what we get. We have some, ooh, this is interesting paper. It doesn't even feel like paper. It's almost like fabric. Oh, it's got such an amazing texture. I'm gonna see if you can, can you see that? It's really knobbly bobbly. It looks like anaglypto wallpaper. God, some of you might be too young to remember anaglypto wallpaper. <laughs> and there's like a, a kind of pale yellow sheet. And the t I don't know if the texture's the same, but it looks very similar. You can see it there, that's the, okay, I'm excited about that. Anyway, we'll look and see what that actually is in a minute. Uh, the other thing that we always get is some artwork and a featured artist. So this looks like some seashells. <laughs> ah! uh, okay, Judith Selkuk. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, Judith. And here is her uh, social media information. If you like what she does, you can go and check out her other stuff. And it says artist tips for pencils. Pencils, pencils. Okay, so we've got pencils. I'm winning so far. Okay, everything seems to have stayed in my tissue. Uh, this is our list of things that's in the box and the theme of the box, so what the uh, the supplies it surround is a life aquatic. Okay, so it's a delicate colour palette, building up layers slowly, that's what you do with pencil. And the scroller challenge prompt is washed ashore, now that's interesting, I quite like that. We have a menthol and eucalyptus sweetie. That's good if you've got a blocked nose. Probably doesn't go very well with Jack Daniels though. And we have our scroller sticker, which is back to the normal color. It was black last month because everything in the box was black. We have a Derwent pastel pencil sharpener. I already have one of these. Um, so I'm assuming it's pastel pencils we've got, which it kind of bummed me out. <laughs> Never mind. Let's see what's in here. We have a Koi colour brush pen. 
I'm assuming it's white. Let's have a little look at the, the list. Sakura Koi Colouring Brush Pen Blender. Oh no, it's a colourless blender. Okay, this is a colourless blender. Um, so that's uh, going to be used with our pastel pencils, I assume. A proper old school pencil, oh my goodness. A Statler traditional HB pencil, just what I've always wanted. <laughs> a classic and traditional pencil, PVC and latex free eraser, blah, 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 brake resistant lead. This is definitely going in Mr. James pencil pot. I have far better and far superior pencils in my collection, including other Statler pencils, by the way. Not discriminating against the brand, but yeah, that's just not cool. Okay, Derwin, let's see what you've got. Ooh. Oh, these colours are so pretty. Okay, and yes, here we have Derwent Light Fast Pencils. I am so good. So, so good at this game. And there are, there are not four, there are six too, just haven't come in the box. Ah. Okay. Um, you can see it is quite a, an interesting colour palette. It is a sort of seashore type colour palette. So let's just get down to business and get these bad boys swatched out. Okay, I'm quite interested as to why they have given us a, a pastel sharpener and not just a normal sharpener. Are they that soft? So these are Derwent's first oil-based pencils. Right, let's boogie. Wheat. Oh, these are quite nice. The word I want to use to describe them is dry, but it might be this paper. Okay, so that was wheat. Let's use our pencil. And we have sandstone. Yeah, they feel quite dry and scratchy, but the colour seems to be going down quite well. I would use light fast pencils if I was drawing something that I was going to hang on my wall, um, which isn't very often to be fair. So the the sort of the light fastness rating in a pencil isn't something that interests me at all. However, for people who are pencil artists that do commissions, having light fast pencils is very important. And I've got a funny feeling that what Derwent are trying to achieve is that they can steal the light fast crown from Karen Dash Luminance and if their pencils match the light fastness of the luminance then they'll probably be able to undercut them in price because the Karen Dash pencils are extremely expensive. Um, so I think that's probably their marketing strategy but that's just me thinking out loud. Okay so I do have a lot of sandy colours so far. This is yellow ochre. There's that word again, ochre. And, uh, yeah, I'm not really, I can't say I'm particularly excited about these pencils. I'll be perfectly honest. I mean, they're nice enough. I would say they're like a, they're like a medium pencil. I don't think they're as hard as a Crayola or anything like that. Um, they feel slightly harder than uh, Polychromos. It has been about four weeks since I've picked up a coloured pencil though, so I might be telling you lies. <laughs> Mid Ultramarine. That's quite a nice colour, I like that. It's quite a delicate colour, isn't it? Midnight Black. All right, my main concern about this for, in terms of the scroller challenge is that this is an incredibly, incredibly limited palette. And not only that, there are two colors that are practically identical. Uh, so that doesn't please me in the slightest. God, I'm just, there's just no pleasing me today. 
to be fair, I'm just not in the best of moods. So I thought maybe doing this might cheer me up. Do you see this? Although designed to be used with pastel pencils, yes, we know because it says pastel on it. Apparently this sharpener is a great way to achieve the perfect strong short point. This is my manual sharpener pot, which used to contain pickled mussels because I love them. Right, let me see one that doesn't have a particularly good point on it. This one here is quite quite flat now. Let me see it better against the... Yeah, okay, I'll give it that. That's a pretty good point. Can you see that? Yeah, okay. Right, all right then. I'll give brownie points for the sharpener, but I now have two of these, so I might have to give one away to somebody. Okay, okay, and I'd like to see what it says about the paper as well. Uh, Mould Bugra, Bugra Button A5 paper. Hannah Muller Bugra Button A5 paper. A mold made wood free, acid free, 130 gram sheet in two colours featuring a laid textured English surface. A popular choice for artists using pastels and pencils. Okay, that's cool. All that remains to do in here is to test out this colourless blender pencil. This is quite good on this paper because you can see a lot of the tooth of the paper through here. So let's just have a little go and see what happens. Okay, that's just lifting the surface off the paper. Can you see that? That is actually my paper. Uh, okay. Hmm. Let's see if it, and it's made the nib very dirty. Obviously the nib is white. So I'm just going to give it a squish and see if we can clean it off. That's still got pigment on it. Okay, so that, did, that didn't go so well. Right, I won't press as hard next time. Let's do it on here. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I'm not impressed. If I put enough of the colourless blender on to blend the pencil, I have to put on that much that it's actually like rubbing the paper off. I mean, there's like a couple of brushes and that has made absolutely zero difference. I'm going to zoom right in so I can show you this. Look, look at my poor paper. It's actually lifted the paper. Yeah, if I come down to this one, I've put three strokes across there and it's not blended anything at all. If I go in little circular motions, which is generally what you do with blender, pencils or anything else. Okay, now that is just lifting the paper and it's not really done much. Mm, this is interesting. I'm going to try on the paper that came in the scroller box. Okay, so. I would just also like to point out that you can hardly see this blue pencil on this paper as well. Okay. Oh, I'm chucking things away again. Right, I just want to make sure that this is entirely clean and that there's no bits of... Okay. Okay, it works well on this paper. Look at that. Ooh. However, it is still lifting the fibre of the paper. Can you see these little black bits here? That is the paper. That is fibres of the paper coming off. So, if you're going to use this pen, then I would suggest to use it with a very, very, very light hand. I wouldn't go crazy with it. And to be honest, I am never going to use it again. I have other ways of blending my coloured pencils. Um, using a dry blender pencil being my preferred option if I have to blend things. Um, but yeah, this is... And it seems to hold, the tip seems to absorb the pigment 
I mean, there, there, there's loads of marks on there. It's taken me ages to, excuse me, to clean that off. So, yeah, I don't know. It just seems a bit off. Water-based dye stuff ink. What does that even mean? Okay, this colourless blender pen has a durable brush nib to create finer bold stroke with a change of pressure and will quickly spring back into its original shape. The odourless water-based solvent facilitates smooth blending and layering of colours. Try lightly softening and blending your pencil colours with this handy pen. Lightly softening. Well, it's... yeah. I just... I don't see the point in this. I'm not impressed with it at all. In fact, I'm disappointed with this. I'm actually disappointed. Alright, so realistically this month we have... Our Derwent Lightfast pencils, which... That's obviously the star of the show this month. Um, yeah, the, I wish they'd given us a, a, a bit of a sort of broader set of colours. However, the pencils seem nice enough. I can't say I'm um, like jumping up and down like with complete excitement about them, but I will need to play about with them a bit more, which I'll do in just a minute. The the Statler pencil, pencil I mean, seriously, really... It's an HB, it's an HB school pencil, basically. So, um, you know, let's take a let's take a leaf out the the artist's book and draw a shell. It's just uh, what is I wish they would like just not put things like this in the scroller box. Like I really do. I just wish they they wouldn't bother. But I I know why this has been done. It's just to give us something for the scroller challenge, so that we actually have something to draw with. I can guarantee you, it's been put in as an afterthought. Oh, look, a shell with my HB pencil that costs about four pence. So let's just say... They go down, they lay down well. They do lay down well. I like them for that. I'm going to test the, the sort of blendiness. So I'm going to go with the yellow ochre, which was the darkest of the three kind of yellowy shades. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fill in in between these lines. Maybe have a paler spot up here or something, like so. Okay, so I'm gonna have to sharpen this. <laughs> oh, let's get our nice pointy point. Yeah, I do. I do like the pastel sharpener. Okay, so let's see how this goes now. I've got a bit of a point. So I'm going to try and blend into these darker lines that I've put down. You don't, there's no way you need a colourless blender for this. this is, they, they blend beautifully. They blend great. There's absolutely no need for that colourless blender. I strongly suggest that you put a lick of it on your scroller challenge and then put it in the bin. And that is just my personal opinion. For anyone that's used to colouring in pencil, there are a great many ways to utilise your blendiness and that koi brush pen is not one of them. Uh, okay, so moving to champagne now. I'm just doing a really simple gradient here. Again, that's blending together beautifully. It's taking all of that away quite simply. And it's squishing in nicely to the darker lines. What colour was that I used? Sandstone for the, the darker lines. I'm just going to go up in there like that. This side. Which is wheat. Wheat. Okay, so I'm going to go over this all now with... I'm explaining this like I'm doing a colour along video. I'm sorry, I'm not doing a colour along video. Ah, so I'm really using this in place of a of a colourless blender. Who'd have thunk it? Yeah, okay. Who needs a colourless blender when you've got awesome pencils? Yeah, the Derwent Light Fast Pencils, uh, definitely getting a thumbs up from me. The HB Pencil is an HB Pencil. This is 
terrible. It is terrible. Do not buy this but under any circumstance. And for everyone else that has one in their scroller box, I'm really sorry. I'm apologising on behalf of scroller box. <laughs> yeah. Ideas for the theme washed ashore. So we can, we could do a, let me do a little thumbnail down here. Do a little thumbnail down here, yeah. So we could have a shell, because that gets, you know, you could have items that get washed ashore, uh, like some driftwood, you know how it goes nice and smooth because it's been turned over in the, in the waves and all that kind of stuff. And we could have some pebbles. And we could have some shells, just like that one. Or we could have, what else is seashore themed? Like a starfish. We could have a starfish. Now that's kind of starfishy. Oh, okay. See, now an, an idea is coming to me. So I would do, because we have blue, we have blue. I would do the waves like this. And the starfish... Except this one really long and thin. I uh, that I kind of want to do a starfish because I uh, I found a starfish on holiday in Mauritius, and uh, yeah, it reminds me of Mauritius. So yeah, I'd have my little starfish, and he was quite long and skinny, but the waves could be like washing up on him. Round here. The only thing is, I don't have a white gel pen. Yeah, so the, my uh, little starfish looked a little bit more like this and he had loads of little round bits in him. Like, and it was quite hard. I expected it to be like soft and squishy, but it wasn't, it was hard. So it's gonna look something like this, but if I'm gonna put the waves up around him, you know, like washing around him, then I was gonna, gonna put like circle, you know, like, like sp not spray, like sea foam round here just to make it a bit more watery so obviously we're gonna have to use the blue and the black for the water and we're gonna have to leave gaps because like, i don't have a white gel pen or anything like that in my scroller box to use so i can blend the black with the blue to give a darker take on it obviously i'll take my time when i'm doing it as well but this is what thumbnails are for. Yeah, okay, so I can I can use that somehow to my advantage. And we'll get that in there. So blue and black for there. And then I need to decide on what my sand colour is going to be. So I think the decision I really have to make there is what goes better with the yellow ochre, the wheat or the champagne. Well, there's the yellow ochre and the sandstone. Uh, wheat. Or champagne. I think the champagne's definitely yellow eater. Yellow eater. We'll make these a starfish colour. So, let me just... Champagne. And then that leaves us with wheat for the sand. Well, for the base colour for the sand, anyway. Yeah, so something like that. Yeah, that looks like a good idea. We'll maybe go with something like that. Either that or maybe just a, I might do a really intricate shell. Okay, let's recap the contents of the scroller box. We have our featured artist, which has some beautiful seashells. They really, that is really pretty. I like that. It's very calm. Um, yes, yeah, so we have our featured artist, which is Judith Selcook, if that's how you pronounce her name. I'm sorry if it's not Judith. We have her artist tips for working with these pencils on the back of that. We have our scroller sticker, which has returned to its normal state. We also have our prompt, which is washed ashore. And we have the contents of the box on the other side of that bookmark. Our sweetie, which is menthol and eucalyptus. That's not very nice, really. We have the almost useless koi colouring brush pen. We have our very cheap Statler Tradition HB pencil. We have our... Oh, we have... <laughs> we have our 
Derwent Light Fast Pencils in a set of six in delicate shades of seashore. And last but certainly not least, we have our really nice textured paper. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the contents of your scroller box for October. Keep your eyes peeled for the video where I will take on the scroller challenge and you can see if my Starfish thumbnail comes to fruition. If you like this video guys, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, that really helps us out. And if you haven't subscribed and you like this type of thing, please feel free to come and join us in the Colour Cave where we put out two videos a week, once on a Monday and once on a Friday. Our videos are a combination of reviews for art supplies, some drawing and other arty pursuits and adult colouring as well. So we try and do something for everyone to keep everybody a little bit happier during their week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again really soon in the Colour Cave. Bye for now guys. I'm gonna go and finish getting drunk now.